Hello, and welcome to Rate That Character, the show where a member of the Source Gaming team gives their opinion on a character's chances at being playable in Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo Switch. We lay out the pros and cons for each character and give a final score out of 100. Please do remember that these are our individual opinions and do not reflect Sakurai, Nintendo, or even the thoughts of Source Gaming as a whole. With that out of the way, my name is Liquid12A, and let's see who today's character is. Silux is one of the six hunters from Metroid Prime Hunters, a Nintendo DS side game to the Metroid Prime trilogy. It is an enigmatic character in the Metroid universe, having a hatred for the Galactic Federation, down to using stolen technology from the faction, and their ally Samus Aran, but little is currently known about the character beyond these details. Silux's known sightings after the events of Hunters were brief, but significant. It was first seen pursuing Samus Aran in a gunship after the destruction of Phase in Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, and later infiltrating a Federation installation to steal an infant Metroid in the secret ending to Metroid Prime Federation Force, heavily hinted to tie into the upcoming Metroid Prime 4. Can these attributes, however, allow Silux a chance at smashing with the rest of them? Let's take a closer look. Hailing from a series notorious for limited character selection in Super Smash Bros. for a variety of reasons, Silux is one of Metroid's true, fully viable Smash candidates to resurface as of late. It is not hindered by crippling issues that have plagued other Metroid characters. For instance, as a regular-sized humanoid, it avoids Ridley's infamous problem of being large. As a truly separate character, it also avoids the arguable problem for Dark Samus of being overly similar to her doppelganger. While no official reason exists for Dark Samus' non-inclusion, it can be inferred that being overly similar to said doppelganger and the thought of a series playable characters having the same name were detrimental factors. As a character heavily implied to be returning to the Metroid franchise soon, if Metroid Prime 4 delivers on the plot which Metroid Prime producer Kensuke Tanabe has hinted at since 2015, Silux darts around the issue of relevance, which gives it a leg up over other bounty hunters like Rundus and Weevil, as well as miscellaneous characters from Other M. Lastly, Silux enjoys some surprising niche popularity amongst Metroid fans. It's very far from the series' most popular character, but for someone with a single full appearance and two cameos, the fact that it even has a fanbase is commendable, especially as interest for a new Metroid character in Smash lives on. Despite these boons, however, Silux has some major downfalls for entry. It is in a situation that is best described as unreliable and difficult to pinpoint, which is mostly due to the secrecy surrounding Metroid Prime 4. With no concrete answer as to when it began development, whether Silux can make it into the base roster in the same way as Greninja did is next to impossible to figure out. Furthermore, the character, for all its perks, is still currently a minor player in the franchise. A return being hinted at is significant, but it's not there yet, and for all we know, still a year or more away. Thus, these are factors to make an accurate guess of the character's viability and uphill battle. For the base game, anyway. Silux is in one of the strangest spots for speculation. It's a character with the required attributes for Smash entry, albeit one that is very unreliable to make guesses on. Entry to the base roster is bound to require a string of lucky coincidences in Prime Force development phase and the character selection process for Smash Switch, so while the outcome is plausible, it has a slim chance overall. However, if Smash Switch gets DLC support, then it's a different story. There is a very real chance that Metroid Prime 4 releases after Smash Switch, and if it does, then Silux is a perfect candidate for spearheading potential Prime 4 content as a whole, and thus its chances would greatly improve for post-launch content. Ultimately, Silux stands on both ends of the probability spectrum for different stages of Smash Switch's development. However, as we are discussing viability for the base game, let's see the score for that. Before we go, a shout out to all of our patrons, in particular our super patron, the Duke of Dorks. You'll find a link to his channel in the description. Thank you for watching today's Rate That Character. If you enjoyed, toss a like our way and show it to your friends. Let us know your thoughts on today's character and suggest any future ones for the series. Subscribe to keep up with our content, and remember to return to the source.